this super quick After Effects tutorial we will learn how to make this mysterious shiny text effect and this one is super super simple so we just need a few effects and maybe 3 minutes so let's just go right into it. So let's make a new composition, I'll just make it 10 seconds and first of all obviously we need a text so just right click in here and go to text and yeah, just let's put something in here and let's also right click in here and add a solid for the background just like this we can also hit s on the keyboard to access the scale settings and just scale it up to whatever we like and then we can also go to the align tab on the right here and just align it to the center and if you can't see this one just go to window and make sure align is checked here and yeah now we can duplicate this text so just yeah select it and press ctrl d and let's go to the lower layer and let's go to effects and add the sunburst effect first of all and i think it's the space sun on it it's light burst my bad the cc light burst effect just this one and yeah this is cool but a little bit too short in my opinion so we can first of all increase the ray length to something like 130 or 150 whatever you like and i also think that yeah this is going too yeah it's it's a little bit too too much in all directions and we can add the optics compensation effect to give it a, a really cool thing where it just goes to the edges so if we hit reverse uh, lens distortion and then just bring this up a lot something like 100 we can see more that will be like yeah we'll go more to the edges on the left and right and i think this is super cool let's just make 115 and yeah this is exactly what we like but now if we would play this uh, nothing would happen so it just looks cool already but it doesn't do anything and to counter this we can add the turbulent noise effect and just apply it and actually want to put it on top of all these effects so make sure it's above these and not below just like this and yeah now again not much happens but we can change a few settings in here so yeah let's just adjust it a bit and i like to increase the complexity to something like nine we can also increase the contrast by a lot so let's put something like 800 in here and or maybe yeah yeah that's okay and yeah we can also increase the scale a lot so let's just go to transform open this up and put something really high in here like 400 or 500 like this should be good or let's just stick to oh right that's okay and yeah that's already it for the settings adjustment but now we want to animate it so we can just put in a keyframe at evolution at the beginning and then go to the end of our yeah, composition and now if we just yeah increase this value to whatever you like depending on how fast you want this to move we can now see if this were pre-rendered that this thing will just move really quick cool. and yeah as you can see this will take a lot of time to pre-render but maybe we can just go through it that uh, doesn't even yeah but you saw in the example i can blend it in as well again that this will look super cool and yeah that's it already i hope you enjoyed this and see you next time